hour mark now. The polls will close in just under two hours. The biggest race we're following is the one for Georgia's governor. There are just two candidates on the Democratic side. An exclusive 11 Alive poll showing Stacey Abrams with a strong lead over Stacey Evans. But at the time, 33 percent were still undecided. 11 Alive's Faith Abube and Joe Hankey explain what makes or breaks it for Abrams and Evans tonight. Going into tonight, the Stacey Abrams campaign feels that this is their race to lose. They feel they have the momentum behind them, and many of the posts we've seen so far support that. We saw the candidate herself earlier today as the polls opened, as she went in to cast her vote with her family with a big smile on her face. Analysts tell me voter turnout could make or break her campaign tonight. Abrams' team has focused a lot on voter registration and getting out new voters to the polls. More than a million voters reached so far. If those voters are energized and motivated enough to come out, she could take the Democratic primary tonight. Abrams is also counting on a strong women's vote. Even though a good chunk of voters in the state are here in Metro Atlanta, the Abrams team has crisscrossed the state, especially going into rural areas, targeting voters who usually don't come out during midterm elections. After six years in the Georgia legislature, Stacey Evans is focusing her campaign on enhancing the state's hope scholarship, making technical colleges across the state tuition free. She also wants to raise the minimum wage and she says she's trying to not only attract just Democratic voters, but those Republican voters who might be moving away from their party. Job security, getting their kids to college, health care access, good schools. Uh, I find that most folks are a lot less uh, focused on Trump and national partisan fights than they are survival and the Georgia economy and their family. And Evans adds she strongly believes the Democrat who wins tonight's head-to-head -head matchup will be able to flip the Republican-held governor's office come November's election.